Hello, good morning, children. Today we shall be talking about the jute industry. Yesterday we had talk about the classification of industry as well as the cotton textile industry. Today we shall be talking about the jute industries. And in India, jute industry is the largest industry which is producing largest material in the world. This jute industry it is having second positions in the world and India is having second positions here after Bangladesh and most of the jute industries are located in Hooghly river due to several factors that is such as the availability of raw materials, the uh, major jute producing areas as well as the cheap levels which are available in Bihar, Jharkhand, uh, West Bengal as well as the Orissa. And apart from that dear children, we see several factors which are responsible for the locations of jute mills in Hooghly rivers. As I have told you that uh, in this area we see the major jute producing areas due to water facilities in Hooghly rivers, the railway facilities, the port facilities in Kolkata port as well as the uh, the riverine port in Hooghly rivers and apart from that the cheap levels which are available in West Bengal, it is available in Orisha, Bihar as well as uh, the nearest areas to West Bengal. Apart from that we see the challenges which are faced by the this jute industry in pres at presently we see we understand that this jute industry is facing lots of uh, drawback here lot of challenges here and these challenges are due to the coming of the synthetic fiber the synthetic fibers is very cheaper it's very cheaper here and that is the reasons we see uh, the jute industry it is losing demands at presently in the society Apart from that, dear children, today we shall be talking about the sugar industry. The sugar industry is also having prominent places in India. The sugar industry it is having second, India is having second positions in the world, and most of the uh, sugar industries it is uh, uh, located in Bihar as well as in Uttar Pradesh. It is only because of uh, this Bihar and Uttar Pradesh, it is the major uh, major sugar producing area and due to all this factor, we see, we understand that, uh, we see more and more the sugar industry in Bihar and uh, Bihar as well as in UP. So at presently, this sugar industry, it is facing lot of challenges in the society. And what are some of the prominent challenges which is faced here? The prominent challenges are seasonal in nature. And that means the sugar industry, it is facing lot of challenges here. As I have told you that the most prominent causes as well as the challenges is seasonal in nature. Apart from that, during the time of transportation activities, we see you understand that it used to have lot of delays during the time as well as during, uh, during the time of the process of transportation activities. So these are all about sugar industries and jute industry. Right now we shall be talking about iron as well as steel industry. The iron and steel industry it is known as basic industry. It is known as basic industry which used to manufacture different kind of electrical goods and which used to send to other industry in order to make it into a valuable goods as well as in order to make it into a finished goods. That is why it is known as the basic industry is here. So since it is a basic industry, it used to have heavy, medium, light and it depends basically on the machines as well as the electrical goods which are used in this in this electrics, in these industries. So in this iron and steel industry, dear children, we see, we understand that in this iron and steel industry, uh, here the raw materials uh, which is metal is used here 
in order to make it into several kind of goods here. And here we see we understand that the finite goods which used to be very very heavy and bulky and basically the iron and steel industry it is in found in these rich many mineral areas like Jharkhand, Odisha uh, as well as Chandrapur as well as in Maharashtra belt. So these are some of the prominent areas where we see the raw materials that is such as iron ore which are available in this belt that is the reasons we see mostly the iron and steel industries in Jharkhand, Bihar as well as Odisha as well as in Maharashtra and Chhattisgarh belt area. Excellent. So right now we shall be talking about the factors which are responsible for the locations of iron and steel industry. So here we shall discuss what are the factors which are responsible for the locations of iron and steel industry. So here due to all these factors, the first factors uh, that is such as uh, due to availability of raw materials, due to availability of raw materials, due to cheap level, supply of water facilities and power facilities and due to uh, the nearest to the marketplaces and due to the port facilities for exporting and importing activities. So dear children, due to all these factors, uh, we see the perfect locations for iron and steel industries. So at presently, the iron and steel industry is facing lot of challenges in the societies and what are, what are the challenges which are faced by this iron and steel industry we are going to discuss now. First, it is uh, due to the limited availability of raw materials and the second one is the high cost of coking coal then it is due to the poor poor infrastructure and the next one is due to the irregular supply of energy due to all these factors uh, we see we understand that the iron and steel industry is facing lot of difficulties here already i have told you that due to the limited raw materials high cost of coking coal the poor infrastructures, the irregular supply of energy. So these are the regions which are causing this iron and steel industry to face lot of challenges in the society. So dear children, right now we shall be talking about the automobile industry. And with the coming of this foreign direct investment plan, it is bringing new technology with these global development with this coming of this FDI and this multinational company we see the arrivals of new technology in this art and they those are such as uh, th those are such as uh, producing of two wheeler producing of three wheeler producing of four wheelers producing of different kind of transportation vehicles and all these uh, all these things are manufactured in Mumbai, Pune, Kolkata, Lucknow, Indore, Jamshedpur, Noida. So these are the main centers for automobile industries. At present in India, we have 15 manufacturers of passengers car, 9 of commercial vehicles, and 14 of 2 and 3 wheeler vehicles which are found in automobile industry. Right now we shall be talking about aluminium smelting. So it is the second most important metallurgical industry which is providing light resistance to the corrosions and it is also known as a good conductor of heat 
or malleables it malleables at the same time it used to becomes very strong while it is been mixing with other types of metals here so since it is gained a popularity in the society and substituting the steel the copper the zinc etc there are eight aluminium smelting plants in india which are located in different parts in india that is such as in orissa we see nalco and balco and also we see several kind of aluminium smelting plants which are found in west bengal chatisgarh kerala and so and so after that my dear children we shall be talking about the chemical industry the chemical industry it is one of the fast growing industry it is contributing 3 percentage of gdp it is the third largest plant in asia here we see the usage of inorganic chemicals that is such as uh, sulfuric acids which used to make different kind of fibers materials plastics adhesives paints etc etc and here mostly we are utilizing the petrochemicals the petrochemicals are used more and more in chemical industry apart from that dear children we see and we understand that the organic chemical plants which are located near the petrochemical industry